Hey, 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 what's up? What's going on? Daria Jackson Leganier here of the New York Power Couple coming from Brooklyn, New York. It is so beautiful out here today. I'm just coming back from my dance class. I like to take line dance class on Saturdays and um, it looks good out here. It feels good. I just got back in the car feeling great. And y'all, y'all gonna be proud of me, you know, because with this COVID, you know, we all put on some weight, right? So I always treat myself with a green drink. Yes, I do. So if you're jumping on, let me know where you're coming from. Put hashtag live. If you're catching a replay, just put hashtag replay. But yeah, I just wanted to um, ask you guys a question. You know, are you getting the results that you're looking for in your business? And if you're not, then you need to take a step back and really look at why do you find yourself comparing yourself to people that you know that you see that are doing well and it seems like every second they're enrolling people and you're not you know you need to take a look at why is that happening instead of comparing yourself look at what the leaders are doing and then you model them so look at their timeline look at what they're posting i mean really really take a look because a lot of times you know people will say oh well you know i've been doing everything that you know the training said and you're and you don't you don't because i know me i was guilty because i'll be the one looking at a training and you know i want to find out how to get leads let's say and this was me in the past i would look at what the trainer's saying and already in my mind i'm saying I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. So how can you get results if you're already talking about what you're not gonna do? So it's it's okay to you know take a step back, evaluate, look at where you are in your business, look at what's not working, maybe revisit some some um trainings and have an open mind and you know even though you may know a lot you're not doing a lot you know or you're not doing what you're supposed to do a lot of times um we're not we're not consistent as we need to be thank you for the love thank you for the love you got to be consistent you got to show up every day not every other day every single day you got to show up you got to show up in your business. You can't expect to have the results of a leader that's been doing this thing for 10, 20 years. And then you just getting some skin in the game and, you know, you're expecting to have the same results as that leader. You know, that's their day 20, you know, year 20 and your day one, you know, how, you know, how are you going to get the same results? You know, you haven't been through some stuff. You got to go through some stuff, you know, that's just part of anything anything that you're getting started. The home-based business is a lucrative business, but you gotta work it. You gotta learn the skill set and then do it, right? You need tools, you need, you, I mean, it's just so much. You know, the first thing you need to do is work on your mind every day because we're good at talking ourselves out of things. Really good at that. You know, oh, you know, that's too hard. You can't do that. Oh, you're not so and so and so you know you can't be like her or you can't be like him you know because he he has a following nobody woke up <laughs> having a following you know it had to be grown it had to be groomed and cultivated right a lot of times um we spend a lot of times doing the wrong thing or spending too much time doing the wrong thing i know for me when i first got started about 12 years ago I was spending time on my website. I was spending time on my blog. Um, I was spending time on all those things. But what good is those things? Are those things, especially you have a, I thought my, bo my blog was the bomb. I don't even have it anymore. I thought it was the bomb. I spent all this money for a website. I spent all this money for a blog. And I realized I don't even need it. Because what good is it? If nobody's looking at it so you looking at it say oh yeah my bog is the bomb yeah showing it off 
to people that ain't buying. So what good is it? So I literally had to start over. Um, I started over back in, I say 2019. Because up until then, you know, my, my success was up and down, up and down, up and down. I had some months where I made no money. I had, you know, some months where I made some good money. And I'm saying, what is it? What is it that I'm not doing? And one of the biggest things that I noticed that I wasn't doing was being a professional friend maker. That is so important. That's how you grow your audience. You know, you got to take the time to cultivate the relationships on social media, you know, because then when you when you comment and like and show love on other people's posts and their videos, they're going to do the same for you. So you got to you got to do it. You got to take the time and do it. It takes time. It's a little tedious, but you know what? It works because what will happen is when you start posting or after you comment and show love, it's going to reciprocate. It's going to come back to you. And then that's when you'll realize, wow, you know, I have a relationship with this person, that person, that person knows me. And then when you're ready to share an opportunity, it, you know, you're not going to get ghosted from those people because they know you. Now, they'll either say they're interested or they're not. And some people go, sure, I'll take a look. You know, you're like, oh, my God, so-and-so took a look at my opportunity. It doesn't mean that they, they're going to join you, but that's the first step is to get more eyeballs on your content and your opportunity, right? So you got to spend more time building relationships. That is so important. More time than you would take to build a funnel, right? I'm not saying that you don't need a funnel. I'm not saying that. But what good is a funnel if you don't have nobody going through it? So, so um, gather your audience, grow your audience, cultivate your audience, start with your friends on Facebook, right? Tell your friends, you know, go in their inboxes and say, hey, hello, how are you? Thank you so much for commenting on my post. I really appreciate that. You know, what are you into? You know, find out what they're doing. You know, who knows? You might be able to collaborate and it's not all about um, building relationships for somebody to join you, that's going to happen. That's going to happen when you least expect it. But the main thing is building the relationships. You know, so when you put something out there and you're sharing something, you're going to have some people looking at it and generally, gen, generally, I can't even say the word right, but they really want to look at, they want to be genuine. They're going to be genuine by, um, by wanting to know what it is that you have right so you don't want to spend too much time on the wrong thing so like i said i was working on my blog i was working on my funnel i was working you know just just perfecting my website why <laughs> why i didn't have nobody going through it you know one or two people maybe five you know so it really didn't make any sense so you got to do what is called income producing activities if you're spending time on trainings, that's not an income producing activity. If you're making appointments, that's an income producing activity. You're making appointments and you're talking to people, you're reaching out to people, people are asking for your link, you're having conversations, you're meeting people, that's an income producing activity. So you wanna spend more time doing that then you would creating content, not, not that content is not important, not that training is not important, but you want to spend more time. I, I, I mean, I can't even like reiterate this thing more than what I am now. It's so important to build relationships, right? That's why all these leaders, they have, um, they have a following because they know these, these people. Look at um, Diane Hockman. She knows all her friends. She takes the time to get to know her people. So people that you are friending, people that are coming through your funnels, that are clicking your links, say hello, reach out to them, right? That's so important. Also, you wanna know your numbers. 
a lot of us don't know our numbers. You know, we say, oh, I just want to make an extra, you know, a thousand, two thousand dollars a month. Well, do you know what it is you have to do to get that? So you got to look at your comp plan. When someone signs up with you, how much do you make? Fifty dollars, twenty dollars, fourteen dollars, fifteen dollars, whatever it is. So once you know how many people, I mean, um, how much per person you're going to make, then you know how many people you need to sign up, right? So it, let's say for each person that signs up, you get $100, right? There's opportunities like that. You get $100 and you want $1,000. So that's 10 people. So in order to get 10 people to sign up, how many people do you think you need to put in front of your opportunity for 10 people to sign up? What, 50, 100, 200, right? Because you know it is a numbers game, right? And, a lot, and I think the biggest mistakes that a lot of us do, we, we get into an opportunity and we don't work the numbers. You know, we reach out to 20 people and they say no and then it's over. Oh, I'm done. It's not working. You don't you didn't get enough no's yet. You got to get a lot of no's <laughs> to get some yeses. And yes, you got to have thick skin. You um you can't worry about what people say. You can't worry about um people whatever they say, whatever their opinions are cuz their opinions don't pay your bills, right? So you you not you gotta work the numbers. You know we're talking about in the hundreds, sometimes in the thousand, in a lot in a lot of cases in the thousands, right? And then after a while, when somebody says no to you, it's not gonna crush you. You know it's not the end of the world because people have a right. If they don't want to do it, they don't want to do it. You don't want them on your team anyway. If they don't want to do it, especially if they sign up and then cancel tomorrow, that's just a waste of time, right? So make sure you know your numbers. Um, also, um, in, in a lot of cases, and I know I'm, I was guilty, feeding your mind with positive affirmations, um, stories, reading books, uh, doing your personal development and meditation. So you have to prepare your mind and your, your body and your whole aura for the day before the day gets started. You prepare yourself. Hey, what's going on, Tabitha? Nice to see you. Thank you for watching. You got to prepare yourself for the day. So that's prayer, meditation, reading, affirmations. You know, you can read um, your act. Like I have my affirmations in the bathroom. So when I go brush my teeth and stuff, I read it every day. So take you could take that even a step further and record yourself reading the affirmations and listening to it. Put some music to it and listen to it so that's really easy to do record yourself on your phone upload it to canva put some music to it download it boom and listen to it at least twice a day when you wake up in the morning and when you before you go to bed so you're going to you're starting your day off with something positive and you're ending your day with something positive so you know make sure that you are getting your professional development in because um, that is so important. Hey, what's going on? Say, say your Nara. I hope I'm saying your name right. Thank you for watching. So, also, you know, I know I mentioned that no thing. Don't let, don't let no stop you. People are gonna tell you no. You know, make it a game. How many no's am I gonna get today? How many people going to BS me, ghost me? I make it a game now. You know, it's just funny because you see the signs. You do it enough, you see the signs. Oh, this person's not serious. He asked me for my link. Hey, what's going on, Florence? He asked me for my link. And um, I'm just reaching out just to say hello. And you ghosted me because you thinking I'm trying to get you in my thing. You the one asked me for my link. <laughs> Hilarious, right? Or you ask somebody, are they open to taking a look? And they act like, you know, it's a death sentence or something. You know, you 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 ask them to do the un um the unbelievable or the unthinkable, you know. So people will act really, really funny when you start doing this kind of work. Your friends, your family, 
you know that's just how it is so don't let it don't let it get to you you know no is no no a lot of times no is not right now people are not going to say right not right now oh did y'all hear the train yep this is brooklyn y'all the train from um long island but no means not right now you know you probably come to that same person a year later and they're like oh my god i'm so open where where is it where's the link give me the link i want to see it right now you know some timing is everything you know sometimes it's just not the right time for that person and then a lot of times what we do is like people that we think may be interested in what we do we hound them and we in our mind you know um making sure trying to make sure that they get the the um the information and you know maybe they're busy or it's not their time and you just like focusing on them this just so many people in the world like don't focus on one person keep it moving they're, you know because if they're interested they're gonna reach out to you you know how many people we, my my mail my um not my mailbox my inbox oh my god is is it's just blowing up with people asking me about what it is that I do because of my content because of um you know I'm reaching out to a targeted audience right so you got to know who you are serving you know if you if you're putting your offer in front of the wrong people you're not going to get results right okay so think of that and um when you're when you're reaching out to people and you're connecting with people and you're making friends with people because that's all you're doing is making friends think of uh, like a, a five six year old everybody's their friend right so that's what we got to do in this business everybody's our friend you know those that choose to be you know because you don't need everybody and you're just reaching out to people and just being genuine and saying hey thank you so much i really appreciate you you know, especially if they're commenting on your on your posts, they're um, interacting with your stories. You know, people appreciate that. So, when you're going through this process, you will get pitched. Does that mean that you have to join every opportunity that is brought your way? No. You can let them know nicely that you know it's not for you. I mean, if you want to take a look, take a look. You don't have to. You don't have to be open. You know, you're focused on what you're focused on. They're focused on what they're focused on. You know, so you don't have to, you, you don't you don't have to succumb to that because you're going to meet people that really would like to have a connection with you. And then eventually it may turn into something it may not, you know. But with this, op, with this type of work, you do need tools. You need tools to make it, you know, to make life easier, especially if you're still working while i was working i i made sure i had the tools working for me while i was at work you know so you need something to help you um friend 200 people a day you need something that can help you delete all the people that are not engaging with you hey what's going on matthew good to see you um you know you don't need those people taking up space that are not engaging with you and and a tool will tell you that a tool will tell you will give you all that information so you'll be able to knock out you know 200 people a day like nothing because remember you have to build your um friends up to 5,000 because the more friends you have the more traffic facebook is going to send to you but just make sure you're interacting with that traffic so everybody that you friend is not going to not going to um interact with you they're just not right and it's okay it's not a big deal so over a period of time you look you look through the tool and the tool will tell you okay this person didn't interact with you this hasn't you know get rid of those people and make room for people that will okay so if you need something like that just um comment tool because you definitely need that i also have um i believe in tools and, and working smart and not hard i know um for right now i have a va right as a matter of fact i have two right so i have two that helps me make friends on my behalf 
and um, it's so professional and I, I get so many great responses because I have a VA that makes the initial contact to my my targeted audience and um, VAs are usually what three hundred dollars a month I have one for 34 so if that is something that you're looking for you know you don't really like reaching out to people you're a little shy you don't know what to say you know I get it because that was me you know and that's not really something that I, I like like once the VA starts the relationship for me then I can take it from there you know I'm not really a great <laughs> relationship star <laughs> I could get better at it you know I am a friendly person but I mean I get it when it comes to um, you know starting relationships but you know you got to push yourself but my VA helps me with that so if that's something that, that you're looking at you know you want a VA to help you with um, building relationships there's nothing wrong with that you know because it does it has to be done in this business just put hashtag um, VA so if you need a tool to help you with your friends and um, deleting friends and adding friends put um, hashtag tool so you got hashtag tool and hashtag VA. So another thing, my team and I, we are going to be starting um, what is called a 90 day challenge. I mean, we are gonna go hard for 90 days, right? But you must um, be in, in my chat or I, will, I, will, I would say our team's chat in order to do it. So if you want to learn how to make money online, you want to learn how to um, get access to ads that you can post so that that will help bring you money, get access to um, training on several um, social media platforms. And I want you to put hashtag 90 day challenge. So. You know, you're going to be part of a team. We're all going to be working together. You know, we'll be helping each other with um, whatever it is that we need to do to grow our tribe. So we're going to be working together. We're going to start on Monday. So make sure you reach out to me before Monday. Right. And um, there are several packages that you can that you can purchase because you have to have one of the per the the packages in order to be a part of the challenge so just um, hashtag 90 day challenge and um, we'll talk about it and so that you can get the package that fits your needs because I believe in giving people what they need you know not just selling you something just to sell you something that's not who I am I want to make sure that you have what you need hey what's going on Ed good to see you good to see you Ed thank you so much okay Florence I got you I got you Florence yeah so um, I'm really excited because we're, we're heading into the fourth quarter and we're unfortunately we're ending we're coming to the end of our summer one kiss is gonna be on Monday oh my god so we got another month left and in most cases our children will be going back to school and this is the time where you want to start preparing yourself to um, to be in the midst of it all because people are going to start looking for opportunities again the summer gets a little slow you know because people are vacationing with their kids they're doing stuff with their kids but come the end of August September people are like oh my god I need to make some money right and especially with this um with the pandemic and now they're talking about this monkey pox like what <laughs> what's going on here more and more people do not want to go to work more and more people are looking for opportunities so you want people to be looking for you because I know I'm looking for people that are looking for me so you want to position right inflation too this is crazy Right? So you want to position yourself when people are looking, you pop up. <laughs> so that's what this 90-day challenge is about, right? 
Now, speaking of inflation, I couldn't believe this. Um, for the most, even though I live in New York and things are more expensive here, especially housing, the food is not so bad. I went to the supermarket. I usually buy like sweet peppers, right? A bag of sweet peppers. I make them in my salads and stuff. And it's usually like three and change, right? Three twenty nine for the same bag. I could not believe it. It was six ninety nine. I'm like, are they crazy? I did not get no green, no um sweet peppers that day. I ended up going to another store. Oh, I ended up going into Walmart. And I saw them in Walmart, and I got them there for the same $3 that I'm, I'm, I'm used to spending. But why buy my home? I got a shop right around my way, you know, that does pretty good. Why got to be $6.99? Why? That's crazy. But, yeah, so we're dealing with inflation. We're dealing with people that don't, they want to work, but they want to work from home, right? And then we're also just... um dealing with people that just need a side hustle they need extra money because their job isn't enough so we're preparing ourselves for all of that so make sure that you um, reach out to me let's do this um this 90 day challenge together i'm excited about it um it's nothing like you know just gearing yourself up for the fall because that's when it happens you know we want to end the year with a bang we want to end the year on top in the in the black right so so let's do that so just remember you know if you feel like you're not getting the results that you're getting coming back to that just make sure that you just take a step back and just look at what you're doing Oh, what what you say? You down south, and they still have old folks. Wow, for seven twenty five, and I, oh my god, wow. All right, all right, girl. All right, guys. You see that, right? You see that? That's crazy. Mm -mm, I can't even imagine. Um, maybe seventy five dollars an hour, <laughs> but not seven twenty five an hour. That's crazy. So. Just take a step back and really look at your activity. Are you really doing what's necessary to grow your business the way you're looking? You have to be realistic. You know, if you've never made, you know, $1,000 online, $2,000 online, don't make a goal to, to um, make $10,000. Make the $100 first, the two, the three, so on and so forth because once you make one hundred dollars you can make two hundred dollars you can make three hundred dollars and so on and so forth but you got to start somewhere by looking at what it is that you're doing look at what the leaders are doing um mimic the leaders right do something similar you know i'm not saying copy and paste what they're doing but do something similar and put your own spin because that's what everybody's doing Remember, guys, there's nothing new under the sun. We've all have gotten ideas. We've all gotten content and just put our own spin on it because it's the same information. It's just that you may like the way I present it better than someone else, my colleague. That's all it is, you know, because everybody doesn't resonate with everybody. Some people will resonate with me. Some people will resonate with you. Some people will never join me, but join you, you know, and vice versa. So that's why it's enough for all of us out here to eat. We could all grow our own tribe, groom them, nurture them in the way that we know how, and everybody will be happy, right? So that's all I have to say, guys. I just wanted to jump on because I just felt led to um, to talk about this subject because, you know, as I observe, you know, many teams, I see people, you know, they get really, really excited when they first jump on. They're really super excited. They're, they're gun hole. They get out there. They do a little work, they get bruised a little bit, and then, you know, they're, they're um, discouraged. And you don't have to be discouraged. 
you know, in this business, you're going to have to, your ups and your downs. There's going to be, you know, days where you're going to get a ton of no's. And then there's going to be days where you're going to get some yeses. You're going to have team members that are going to um, quit on you, ghost you, be excited one second, go on the next. It's, it's just all part of it, you know, because people are going through their own stuff. A lot of people, you know, have that, that, that what do they call it? That shiny um, object syndrome, you know, thinking that every opportunity, you know, well, this opportunity didn't work for me. I'm going to get in that opportunity. But they don't realize that the same person that you were in the last opportunity, you're bringing it to the next opportunity. And it's not the opportunity, it's you. So we have to always step back and reevaluate ourselves and make sure that we're doing what we need to do so that we can um, rise in this industry. So I gave you guys, guys some tips on that. So make sure y'all um, review the tips because I'm going to get ready to jump off. Hey, what's up, Lula? Thank you for jump, jumping on. Appreciate that. So guys, um, I appreciate you listening. Um, much prosperity to all of you that are watching we're gonna all win we're gonna win and and um in this year with a bang we're gonna win win and end this year on top because we're gonna do all the things that is necessary for us to do we're gonna work on our minds we're gonna work on our consistency we're gonna hone in on our skills we're gonna get the tools that we need we're gonna be in the environment that we need to be in so that we can all win so with that said guys have a blessed day have a wonderful weekend and i will see you guys in the next video